it will be snowing all day today happy sunday happy sunday happy sunday yes it's a snowing day here in london city yeah the temperature is it's one degrees guys so um it'll be snowing the whole day the whole day the thing is it's snowing and raining at the same time so you know that's ice right there i'm gonna go and watch it now i'm gonna check in back later so we can see what's going on we're in the kitchen doing assignment right there Bet me in the kitchen. Me in the kitchen. Don't do that. No. Guys, sit here. No lie. My peas are pressure. Mega season up the meats. Why are you sure that meat I'm going to put for the towel? Why are you sure that the meat I'm going to put for the Anyways, guys, <laughs> Mala is doing what he does best wash the plates. <laughs> as in, we're in the kitchen today, guys. As you know, on Sunday, I look for the dinner. I have a cake in the oven baking. I have the peas pressure in the meat, at, well, the meat on top just to season it. But I wait till Mr. McIntosh finish. And then, while well, I wait, I <laughs> um made some assignment right here so yeah because missy over there so i play game i'm a fair ear for wash and comb and i have to prepare for my first episode <laughs> my first 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 episode of my new series my new show called unplugged mondays where we unplug all things canada over on my ig page at aso by amanda so if you or your friend or your family is interested in immigrating to canada that's where you find everything unplugged for you on unplugged mondays so we cannot prepare for that so there was a knock on the door knock knock and it's a gift for kali That's the name of the brand you were asking about. What's the name of it? Dream Pears. Turn the camera. So yeah, Dream Pears. Oh, what is? <laughs> and you come out from nowhere, you so we can see so you have a fresh pair of winter boots the short one and it comes with a, a, a buckle plus you have to um tie it let's see inside Ooh! <laughs> it's already so Inside is so fuzzy. Here you go. Just try on one foot first, let us see. Alright. So back story guys. So I finally figured it out you're a big kids five, right? Through a big kids five. Four. Five. So this is a six because you know you have to wear like your leggings and your socks and your joggers are you? What about the case maybe? Oh it's complicated. It come with a zip plus a buckle plus a a a a, 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 a tie. That's complicated. Shaban sucks already, so that's good. Take it time, no, mama. <gasps> it fits perfect. You love it. It's cute. It's comfy. It's fuzzy and warm. Yeah. Mm. So, Auntie, thank 
you. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> with you guys it's no one something I mean it's still two I'm up um, so I can't catch up the phone here I should just catch up one of them Yes, um, yeah, it's minutes to two, and I'm up cleaning. I'm gonna share my lunch for tomorrow. I'm tired, but guess what? Um, I'm up praying, meditating, talking to God. And then decide to just start straightening up and clean up the place. Marla is sleeping. Kali is sleeping. My eyes are tired. Kali is sleeping. Marla is sleeping. Um, I'm going to just stare. I'm going to sweep. Just decide to do a quick one, two, check in. But um, this is me. It's raining outside. And flurrying a bit. And... I just come to talk about having faith and not letting it waver. I know as humans at times we feel like, you know, when stuff are not going according to plan and when we meet up with life challenges and stuff, we tend to feel discouraged, we tend to feel frustrated we tend to feel like a failure and that we just want to give up. I know the feeling all too well. I've been there. Um, but what I want to say is that, guys, um, you'll never know if you'll never take the step. And faith you see that word faith? I think we use it slightly and lightly. You see, if we stay steadfast on him, meditate, make, and you know, fasting is the next thing. I know a lot of persons, they fast with food, but sometimes you don't have to fast with food. You could fast as in sacrifice something that you love. Suppose you love going on social media all the time. You could do a seven days fasting from social media. You could do a seven days fasting from red meat, whatever the case may be. And you focus, you do those times to focus on him and what you really want. And I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on God. Don't underestimate him. Don't underestimate his grace and his mercy. And don't underestimate how much your faith, even though it may be small as a mustard seed, can move mountain. Guys, look how bare the place is looking. <clears throat> All the trees, well, most of the trees, the leaves fell off. It's looking so beer. Hi, Lily. Hi. So, Lily having some braids done by her mama. All right, go now, baby. <laughs> you were like standing like, okay, let me get this feature in. Looks like we had some snow. Just a little bit. It's minus one degrees, by the way. The leaves fell off. You want to go in the pool? Yeah, but I'm seeing that's why they have indoor pools. Exactly. So you're like, you don't want a winter to come. I thought you said winter was one of your favorite seasons. No? One of my second. 
second. <laughs> so I read second now. You're like, I can't wait for winter to come. I can't wait to play in the snow. And all of a sudden, it's the second, right? So guys, I'm going to take you guys shopping with me. Well, it's not big shopping. I'm going to be heading to the store and get some cleaning agents. Um, I need like bleach, vim, um, scouring pods. What happened? I put it in your bag. Um, some, oh no, some bathroom, um, cleaning agents, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take you along with me. I normally go to the um the dollar store for that Dollarama. Sometimes dollar store don't have bleach, so I end up going to like Walmart for the selection brand. But let's see, let's see. Walk into Kali's floor right now. Nice, Kali. I saw you look left. You look right. I love that. <laughs> Can I try for teacher to cross the road? Even though I am present, just to see what she would do. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we're almost at school. Hey. Excited to be at school in the cold weather. No. <laughs> this is guys. See you at the store. All right, guys. So I made it inside the dollar store. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys based on what I'm picking up. I may not be able to show you everything Because I really want to go home. I'm tired, right? Um, so let's go. So I just picked up one of these for the um, the pop bottom. It's a dollar 25 and it has four of these scotch brights um, scouring pads in it for persons who would like to know how much for sponge So you have five pack of this sponge for a dollar 25. You have these soft ones for a dollar they have different um you have these three sponge for a dollar 25 you have these two for a dollar 25 i have been using these ones the 10 pack for a dollar 25 and then finish too quick and then i started using these ones which are good a dollar 25 but then this is me right if 10 is for a dollar 25 while three is for a dollar 25 that means that this better than this and then if two is for a dollar 25 that means that this better than this so i'm just trying it out to see um how it goes these are some cleaning cloth three dollar for about five um for brooms now you have to buy the stick different from the the part that you use to sweep and you have different styles so for example this is for three dollars and this is for i don't know this is for a dollar 25 this is for two dollar fifty these ones for two dollar fifty that's for a dollar 75 and then you buy the stick different so the stick a dollar 25 and it's in all different colors that's how you buy brooms so I normally use the regular Clorox spray. Um, so I tend to use these when I'm doing the dishes and stuff. I like to spray. The last time I mixed them, <laughs> the last time I mixed the bleach with the Lysol, a lot of persons commented and they're like, no, Amanda, don't mix stuff. But you know, you mix it when, no, no wrong guys, man. Anyways, this is a disinfecting bleach cleaner for $2.50. And this is an all-purpose one, disinfecting. But this one is for three dollar, yeah. Um, this is what I use now on the furniture, but when I like it, I prefer the pledge. So I use a pencil on the floor and stuff. Two dollar fifty. So I'm gonna be picking up a pencil, Clorox. What else can I show you guys? The Vim. So I use this one. Um, other one there? No, it's not this one, you know. I use the one that have in the Ajax, but I'm not seeing it. Anyways, this is for three dollars. For the bathroom, I use this as well, but I have this at home. 
I use the Vimpo and Shine as well, but I have that at home. Look at them change the look of the, the vim. So I'm gonna get this vim. It says with bleach. Yeah, I prefer the one with bleach. And they have the clothes in here, the bigger bleach. But it's not so big, right? <laughs> but um I'm gonna just get one of these. These thick in guys, it says splashless. Believe me when I say thick. So normally when that Clorox is finished, I put this into that and then um dilute it with water. It's thick, very thick. This the resolve, I use it on the clothes when I'm washing. It's for three dollars. It's very good. Very, very good. Somebody introduced me to it. And from that, I've been using it. It's really good. Like, I had something white one time with stain. And when I put it on it, it was really good. It came right out. You have this too. The spray one. They're both good. For the toilet bowl, you know, underneath that part here in the toilet, I use this, the Lysol cleaning power. Yeah. This name quick cooking. I start work at five, right? It's now five forty. The rice finish steam. Kalia go and eat some cake. Go and feed her face with some cake. I'm literally Kalia back to later, so literally. Well, I'm already logged in for work. Um, I'm both so take some calls. The work not stop, right? So, let's clean that the background, guys. She make a mess with the cake. The work not stop, right? Um, I feel chilly. I'm have on the heat, but for some reason, I'm feeling very chilled today. She's such Hello. a pretty. Thank you. So I got this um book. It's called Dead in the Water. Mm hmm. And it's called what in the water? Dead in the water. Dead? No, dead. Dead in the water. It's not. And then these are, I started reading that. So, it has just straight up words. There are no pictures. So, and I just lost my page, but that's okay. Guys, she said she don't want any beads in her hair. <laughs> I did the hair to put beads in it. Also, I would have made the plaits thicker had I known that. You know? Because I did it to put beads and cut off them string string. But when the hairstyle done, Mumsy said, No, mommy, I like Can this. I read Can I read a part? No beads, to them? please. Three hours into the work. Every day we the project has been. Hours hours been hours 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 finished. Hours hours finished. Hours um. Yeah, so there's no more projects for moi, so that's it for me. It's 8 14 p.m. My shift is normally 5 to 11, and sometimes that happens. They're working on a project and then it's ended. So that's that. So I'm currently. I'm currently in Bible studies. Uh, yeah, currently in Bible studies. And uh, after that, finish. Well, did they not finish? Babe to the rescue! And came and saved the day. So now I'm going to have a bath. And then. Um, I gotta do some work up until about 10 30, 11. Yeah. Yeah.
perfect example of a bipolar weather. It's really So we're all walking in the jungle. <laughs> That's baby mommy. No, but she don't bust it. <laughs> She's still with child. So in there, so in there. <laughs> hey, Lana. <laughs> oh gosh, at this rate, walking every day, that would be one I easy to. drop. <laughs> He's about to do another interview. If you want good, you know it's a for run. Stay at it. Yes. Ah, you hear him say? Stay at it. Fall down. Yeah. Seven yeah. times. You stand up eight. Yeah? So baby's here um practicing. He's doing another interview soon. Yeah. Um in the last video you guys saw him doing an interview. But um he's doing another one again. That's the thing with this journey. This journey will it will knock you over a lot of times, but you just have to persevere. You just have to remain determined and above all, have God in the midst. Because I tell you, say if you not be careful, it mush up your mentally. I'm not gonna lie, like it's the mental health is a serious thing. It's a lot of time, but there I'm a depressed depression and anxiety would kill me right 
I made a post on Instagram the other day. Um, in the caption, I I um, mentioned that a lot of times I have to mentally check out. It's not one nineteen, guys. I'm just at my breakfast. A lot of times, I mentally check out. It's something that I do intentionally in order to preserve my sanity and to have my joy this is butter guys um the hot pot touch me and it and it's um you know like when you press clothes and the clothes burn and you travel up together that's it goes to my finger right there so some put some butter on it yeah um to preserve my sanity and my joy and peace of mind and all of them nice things there yeah Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, guys. You have to be on this journey to understand the level we may talk about. Watching it from your home country in Trinidad, in Jamaica, in Kenya, in Nigeria, you never understand until you live it. Me, I tell you, we can tell you, but you're not getting fully. And then. You might support oh i don't hear a lot of persons talking about it or whatever the case may be but i'm gonna treat guys i'm gonna treat just the same it's just who's willing to talk about their journey and and thing and you know talking about my journey it brings hope to others you know you see that thing that when you fit fit spiritual God read your Bible and pray every day it work anywho um I don't even know what I did this week for this video but be sure to check out my Instagram at Asto by Amanda on Mondays so my song with your guys mother lock it up and now on Mondays um, at 6 p.m. on my page um, where we unplug all things Canada the first episode was really good really good and insightful and I have many more episodes to come so be sure to stay tuned for that and if we do anything else for the rest of the day I'll show you guys if not I'm sorry it was a hectic week, but I still took up the camera. And have I had a few meltdowns as well. Listen to me. My tip money for come on Instagram and do some lives in the day and talk about my journey the real way. Yeah. When you pray and make your requests unto him, him answer him. Him answer. And him send him angel them for work on it already. It just not happening in a hour time. But in his timing, it happens. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? I just want to stay quiet so I can't. Someone quiet? Yes, Lord, talk. Do you hear me talk? I don't want to hear you quiet. No, sir. I don't want to hear you talk. If the hell not quiet. Man, you choke. Can I just say nothing? What do you say? More than good luck. You don't want to hear you talk. I don't know what you hear, man. You have studied too much, you know. Man, you have practiced too much. All I said was good luck, all the best. And you start attack me. Me attack you? Yeah. Like the man on the video. Man, I tell you. Remember the video when I make you watch this morning? Mother, why you have your underwear right here on the chair top? I'm underwear that I'm sure. <laughs> hey, you look, you know, you look because you know you're capable of doing something there. No, you know you're capable of doing something like that, Marlo. Me and you know that you're capable of doing stuff like that. My ox here, come see me. Marlo, you know if you serve me, you eat your breakfast, you know? Please set it up for me. Set up what? Put on the time, man. I'm at 2 o'clock at the thing. You two told me 2.30. I 
Tour pack of the thing. Just me. Mama, I asked you, you said 2 30. You know, girl, that look nice way for one screeny. Let's see. Good morning good morning good morning guys good morning it's friday and i'm gonna wrap up this video today behind me is a mess um i'm gonna clean out the sofa when i come back but i just wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys something regarding kali right <laughs> oh guys she's so pretty um so basically um a lot of persons were asking me how do you dress the kids for winter right this is not really the proper proper how to dress kids for winter kind of thing yet but i just wanted to show you guys something okay so she has on what looks like a fleece um well it is fleece sweater right underneath it she has her um thermal top it's long sleeved it's long sleeve guys and then Chavana joggers on the outside. The joggers is fleece lined. And underneath the joggers, turn sideways, is a thermal thing, which the joggers have the same fleece thing as well. And then underneath this, she have a spaghetti strap top as well. So she's very layered for this morning. She have on a fleece socks. You guys won't see the fleece socks, but it's looking similar to this. But it's thicker than this and her oaks these are some watermarks made for wipe it out each time it wets from the time it wets it will look like this so i'm gonna wipe it out get something now wipe it out but um like when winter winter really kick in now guys i'ma show you that you look so pretty and i put a little beanie hat i put this one should i have about four of them guys i put this one if you notice it's not really fleecy or it don't have that fleece inside she have those ones, but those ones are for like winter, winter. So I just drop on this one now. It's one degree is feeling like minus four outside. So I just put on this and then she's going to have her mitten on and thing. My new hairstyle, I got a new hairstyle. It's, um, it's, it's, mom did it for me. Mm -hmm. And, um, mom was going to add beads, but I was like, no, I wanted it to be like this. So, mom was like, if I knew you didn't want any beads on it, I would do it thicker. Exactly. This is her jacket, one off. Um, it has the fleece inside. It's very soft. The inside, very warm. Tell them bye. Bye. Tell them see you next week. See you next week. I'm heading off to school. I'm heading off to school. And I love you guys. And I love you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Somebody asked why Kali has to take the bus to school. Why is she not using the school bus? Um, let me explain because maybe I've missed it in earlier vlogs. But in order to be qualified for the school bus, you have to live 1.6 kilometers away from your school and over. So 1.6 kilometers and over. We are 1.5 kilometers and them say, no, you know me, Cassie. <laughs> we are 1.5 kilometers away. And they said that, uh-uh. Um, it's walking distance. But when you go on Google, you'll see like 20 to 25 minutes of walk. That's not walking distance. Worse in a um, cold weather like this. Mm -mm. And you know when you take the bus, the bus go all the way around town. Listen, guys. My fingers are burned me. It's Kiara! Well, oh, oh, yeah, try it. We'll do it the other end, guys. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kali! <laughs> Hi, Tiara! Hi. That's Kali's best friend, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Kali's the best friend. We're on a train bus. You're on the what? A train bus. You're on a train bus? How do you feel being on the train bus? I feel good. Huh? I feel good. <laughs> it looks like the 
going back home. Yeah. I've never been in one um before in my entire life. Really? Oh yeah, because the one's from the you never been on it. Yeah. Because by the time you were born they were out. It was new ones. Yeah. This brings us to the end of this weekly vlog. Um, yeah, a proper way to end it, right? So, you know, we were on the train bus. Kali was pretty excited. I have um, work today um, from now until 6. And when you guys see this, um, there's something that I want you guys to know. So basically, yesterday, which is Friday night... Guys, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe easy. Kali was all up on my neck, breathing, right? So basically, I launched her project. Remember, I told you guys I was working on a project for my daughter. And she had me going through the stores and whatnot just to see what she liked and stuff. So I finally launched that project on IG. So basically... um. What she always wanted to do was to have her own YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys had get, guessed correctly in the comment that it sounds like a YouTube channel. However, um, I'm like, nah, <laughs> no. For more than one reason, guys. Um, I mean, I can edit, I can, but I have so much on my plate right now. That would have been a little bit too hectic for me at this point. Furthermore, um, I was just like, you know, she's probably just liking what she watched on youtube and would like to partake that was when she was six she's now eight and she's still in on my ears mom i want to do the diy project so bad and you wouldn't even let me i want to play with slime i want to do this i want to make this i want to create this i want to do cooking i want to do baking i want to do this i want to do that look at these kids doing baking doing cooking all right do it behind the scenes then no <laughs> but no she her personality is, this is me, to know Kali is to love Kali. She's a sweetheart. Her personality is so vibrant that, listen to me, people come across her and they're like, they love her confidence, I love her. Mind you, she love go like she's shy, shy at first, right? But as I said, to know Kali is to love Kali. She's a sweetheart. She's outspoken. She's vibrant. Her personality is vibrant vibrant like i'm telling you kelly will make a laugh just looking at her is like it amazes. she knows some big words she loves to read books and so i decided okay i won't give you the platform that you want just yet but let's work on a platform that i can have total um control over so let's do it on instagram where i the account, the page will be run by me. Um, so anything in the inbox that should not be straight block and delete and restrict um, people who, you know, you know, those kind of people, right? Um, you create your content. I'll post it for you. And so we started to work on that project. So she told me the name. She told me what kind of project she wanted to do. She took me to Walmart. She took me to Dollar Store. She showed me the different project. No, you know, me, they just didn't say I saw paper something with sugar. Mm -mm. No actual DIY where she creates stuff. You guys gonna see because I don't want to let out too much out of the. So currently she have you have three, right, Kali? Okay. You have three DIY projects that you're gonna start. And um, she was sitting down with me and she said, Okay, mom, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I want to do. This is not what I want to do. She tell me, guys. I don't dictate to her. I just guide her. We'll start posting real soon. She have a lot of content on my phone already in like video clips, pictures, like this girl. <laughs> so I'm going to let her talk to you guys now. Okay, guys. So my page is at Kali Alyssa underscore underscore and mom will put it on the screen so what your page will be about 
So I will do some DIY projects mm -hmm. and I'll do some reels too. And I'll like film things like snow and making a snowman and Ooh. all this fun stuff. And all those fun stuff. Nice. So who can follow your page? Everyone. Everyone. Moms, dads, kids, kids, boys, girls. Right? Everyone can follow your page. Ooh, what about the books? You didn't tell us about the books. Oh, yeah. I'll be reading the books, too. And Mom said Mom wanted me to go to the library because we saw a library down the road. Yeah. So we could film that, too. So, yeah. So, she loves reading books. So, I decided that I'm going to take her to the library and get her signed up so she can get books um, all the time to read and stuff. And she said she wanted to have on her page, like, a book corner where she reads short stories on her live to kids nothing too long and she sits and she read books to kids her age and underneath as well under her age because um i don't know probably well the book yeah once it's short stories nothing too long like a quick 20 minutes live or something of her reading books so that would be her book corner and she, yes and she will be featuring those books no it's not sponsored no it's not paid for but it's something that she's passionate about um and she'd like to just read she'll love read and she'll love creative arts she'll love doing things with her hands so this is very exciting for her i'm pushing for me because i know me i forgot edit them videos there that you did the diy i have to post the photos i have to be the photographer i have to post them i have to but but yeah project kali Alyssa underscore underscore all right guys see you next week and thank you guys for watching this weekly vlog don't forget to like subscribe share i'll put her link in the description box below so you can follow too and um yeah also the captions will be by her i'll i'll she, she pick out the pictures that she want to post first and I ask her for the caption, so let's see. Let's see. <laughs> so then bye. Bye. <laughs>